Welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to render a path or a link from a route inside a twig. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's fire up the terminal. Let's navigate to our directory Drupal Learn. Let's also open the directory here and uh, Let's click the node page. Now, uh, this is a node page. So, we will just render a new link here in the twig. First, let's see the original twig that is rendering this node. Let's right click and inspect. And uh, let's just scroll over here. Let's start with the body content and it should be somewhere here. Yeah, so you can hear file name suggestions. Uh, as you can see here, this is node node. So the one with the star, this is the one node.html twig dot twig. This is the node that's actually this is the twig file that is actually rendering the node. So these are uh, the suggestions that could be possibly used and the actual file output is beginning from themes country bootstrap file. So let's just go to the path web themes country bootstrap uh, templates content and there should be a node.html so what we can do is we'll copy this and let's log into the file site and let's check the theme that we are using right now so we are using a dl boot sub theme as you can see here dl boot sub theme which is a sub theme of bootstrap file so let's copy the actual twig file from the bootstrap file and let's go to our custom theme and create a folder for templates and let's paste the file here and let's also make the change for the file as suggested here let's click on the inspect so this is an article content type so we will go with node article dot html dot tweak we'll just rename this file node hyphen hyphen article dot html dot tweak now let's open this file let's set this to html uh, this is just basic stuff uh, we don't actually need that the thing that renders the actual content on the page is this content variable now let's just go back to the site uh, let's flush the cache so that this new template gets affected so let's refresh this and check whether the suggestions have changed from node.html.twig to our custom template path so you can see here now the x points to node.article.html.twig and you can also see the output is from themes custom dl boot templates and node article dot html dot tweak so now this file is effective now let's just add a div or a href whatever we want now let's just add an anchor tag and uh, let's add a path over here 
let's point this as something like since we are rendering the url here let's like put the text as rendered url since it's a string we'll just encode this a pipe symbol and the t the t is actually for uh, translation so whenever like you use a multilingual site this rendered url will be translated to the uh, whatever the uh, language that you are viewing if there is a translation that is available now let's get to the important part where we get to the href now there are two functions that we can use to render uh, route inside a tree we will see the first function over here which is nothing but path function so let's open the braces and let's start with the path function and let's open this likewise now inside this path all we have to mention is any existing routes so for routes uh, we'll just grab anything for instance we'll just go to some co-modules get any random path like an admin path for instance uh, we'll just even go to db log and we'll open the routing.yaml and uh, yeah let's just say that the link points to db log we just copy the route here and we'll put it over here so that will be it now let's go to the page and refresh it so as you can see here the rendered url is here now clicking this will actually takes you to the db log page so today we learn how to render a url based on a route inside a tweak file thanks for watching guys